So here we have a 30 millimeter blob of water, sphere, hemisphere, sitting on this speaker and I'm running some tones through it. And I'm sweeping the frequency from around 20 hertz to 30 hertz. So this is low frequency stuff. And look at these wild oscillations that you could drive into this hemisphere of water. And depending on the frequency and the amplitude, you can make anything from uh, standing ridges to a whole series of lobes. Now here's a smaller drop of water, and it exhibits a different a series of uh, oscillation modes, similar but different. It's really amazing to see this. And you can see this on a length scale that would be impossible to see on Earth because gravity would make this just flatten out. And you reach a point where we almost have this chaotic behavior here where not only does it squirt drops off at the apex, but it just starts to squirt drops off from all around the hemispherical surface. And, and here's that section played back uh, uh, five times uh, slower than, than real. You can see the lobes growing up on the surface. It almost reminds me of some kind of a embryo stage of a sea creature trying to grow tentacles or something. And then those lobes start to grow out to the point where surface tension will neck off a free drop. And I, I am amazed at how much fun you can have with something as simple as just a, a little set of speakers from your laptop computer and a, a splash of water. Now here's another drop. This one's a little bit smaller and here I'm starting off at 20 Hertz sweeping up towards 40 and this particular drop gets into these these uh, gross up and down oscillations and starts to eject droplets right at the apex but a most amazing thing happens it actually makes a cavity and that cavity gets pinched off and it makes air bubbles inside. Now here's a small, smaller drop and look at what this drop does. It is consistently squirting uh, free uh, droplets off at its apex.